All that from Lola. I freaking did it. So the weather it was advised for me to not go running today. Um, according to the weather, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But you know what? I'm gonna run because I haven't ran in a day. Last night, I didn't go to bed until like six or like 5.45, 6 a.m. I really feel that I need to work out to be able to sleep. My brain is just too much is going on in here and I just need something to like get it tired during the day so that I can hold myself together all day so I can pass out at night and this was that day last night showed me so today I will not be taking a nap I will be doing laundry doing stuff to keep me busy I ate a sour or a salty watermelon um little fruit um, gel thing, energy thing that my baby sister gave me a long time ago. I still have them. <laughs> I haven't eaten them yet, so I will. And I have, and I did. And it was pretty good. I like that one, actually. I had to get that one again. Oh, <sighs> man. Oh, man. That was seven miles. Got one week left, got one finger, got five friends. Oh, wee. Oh, man. Seven miles, you guys. Seven freaking miles. I did it. I did it. Seven miles. The state is on fire, but you know what? I did it. I did the run. Oh, man. So, today's run. We look at her. Look at her. <laughs> hi, Auntie Girl. Hi, Bubbas. Hi, 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 my baby. Hi. Okay, okay. So what we did today was we ran the first three to five miles, what was it? Was it three miles? Oh goodness. Yeah, 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 okay. So we ran the first three miles like we normally would at our comfortable recovery um, pace, comfortable pace. And then they asked us to run the mile five from mile three to mile five to run that like it was the last one. Run, run run mile three to mile five like it's mile five to seven so like give it the same effort that you're wanting to give it at the end your last two miles so you have that feeling again that feeling of like what the last bit of it is how you want to feel how do you want that to end do it do it don't just think it do it for mile three to mile five so for those two miles do it and then once you got to that five miles they're like okay cool now you're here do it again you know that feeling do it again keep that feeling keep it going you can slow down back to where you were and slow it down slowly because if you're at that good steady pace and you're floating, if you're going, if you're floating and you're going, you can to slow it down. By the time you slow down, you should be back to your recovery pace within the last little bit. So you're just done. And it was really nice because that's how I felt like I was trying to be. Um, I did get myself kind of lost <laughs> in some of the streets because I didn't know exactly where I was going and then I ended up having to go like up a really high hill <sighs> when I got to like mile six 
so that made it a little harder for me but you know what i recovered from it and i kept going and then i went further out and then i didn't stop after that hill but honestly that hill was intense that hill was like super crazy um intense so i don't blame myself for stopping and i'm glad that i did stop because it gave me enough energy to keep going for the rest of it uh, which was wonderful um i didn't bring any water with me i didn't bring my mountain ops enduro with me for my cardiovascular system so that kind of sucked but i mean i still went seven miles and i came back home i was like oh well, let me just go really far and then i'll uber back because the hubby's at work and i was like oh wait no let me just get my ass back home because why spend money when you can just run <laughs> oh, i love it i love it um this is the last run of the week it's the last week before the end of the training and with that being said today is also the start of the tough mudder training I didn't sign up for it, <laughs> but if you guys want to do it along with me, you definitely can. I can send you guys the links for where it is, but by the time you see this, it might be a little too late and I might be a week in, but you can still follow me and do it with me. I'm going to make another little playlist for it because I think it's going to be fun and I really want to do it and then I'll probably do it again next year because then it'll be um maybe we can get a little group together and do a little earth club hmm. 5k tough mutter i think that would be really really cool um that'd be awesome actually but anyways back to this run it was really good i enjoyed it i liked the way that he switched it up from like i said beginning and middle end it made it work out really well and um look at this one she's so relaxed she's so happy i'm home she gets so sad when i leave i'm i make it makes me so sad to run <sighs> but soon once it starts training i'll be on the elliptical and i'll go for miles on there oh yeah and then i want to start riding the bike oh but i also have a marathon coming up in november so i'm gonna have to train for that Hmm. We're gonna go from half to full. From half to full, mochi girl? From half to full? You're so cute. <laughs> I love you, mochi girl. I love you. I love you, my bubbush. But on that note, um, I want to see how my mileage went. Let's find out. <laughs> Them blackberries! Mmm. Oh, they're so good. Mmm. Mm. Yum. They're so prickly. Mmm. Look at how many. Who needs a grocery store? Mm. And you can just come pick them on the side. Look at all these. You see them? Man. Man, oh man. Let me see some more. Mmm. Blackberry hand. See, and there it is. The proof is in the pudding. And I put it in. I put it in. Anyways, see, so I started at a 939, 939, 944, 946, 953, 10, 22, 11, 12 for the last mile. I feel that. I really did enjoy doing the whole putting the end in the middle because it made me be consistent. Um, but I also feel that I um, 
was going up in the hills, down in the hills. When it came to that six mile, I knew, see, I told you guys, that six mile really got me. <laughs> Having to go up that hill really messed me up. If I was on a flat surface, like I always say, I'm pretty sure I would have had the same time as my fourth mile, probably. I would have been in that 930. On that note, I am ready for my half marathon. Next week is the last week. And then everything is going to be super slow and low pace for next week. So that's really nice. Um, until my half marathon on Friday, I'm going to be picking up my stuff at the REI. I'm going to make a little video for you guys to come along with me and come pick it up and see all the runners there. And... Yeah, I think it's going to be so awesome. I'm so excited. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I'm almost there, you guys. I'm so close, so close. But on that note, it is a beautiful Monday for me. I hope you guys have a good day and have a good week. And I will see you on the next one tomorrow. Okay? Bye.